Hey there, Dan Stein here. As I get ready to recreate my videos for my Revit textbooks for Revit 2024, I'm testing out a few settings and thought I'd create a quick video and talk about the new textures mode in Revit 2024. So in the lower left here, if you go to visual styles, we you see we have a new option here called textures. So just to go through all the options real quick, there's wireframe which actually isn't used very often, but it is a good troubleshooting view. And in some cases, if you need to get some quick work done in a really complex model, this is actually a really fast, robust view to work in if you know exactly what you're doing. Another default option in most views is hidden line. And you'll see some ambient shading there that I'll talk about in just a moment. There's the shaded view, which actually adds some distinction as you turn a corner and in some cases you can see like part of that texture was missing because I'm zoomed out a certain distance so this has some undesired side effects and then the next option is consistent colors which is again a shaded view without the added shading around the corner but this is still not the appearance asset. This is just the shade with the fill pattern and we still have the problem with patterns sort of disappearing at a certain distance. Uh, I'm gonna skip the new one for a second and then here's realistic, which I don't use very often and I don't think most people do just because it's so slow and hard to move around in. But here we have the appearance assets showing up, but then because of the global illumination, um, the color of that appearance asset has changed a little bit. And it also changes um, around the corner for uh, the better depth perception. Now, if we go to textures, this is the new mode. This is sort of analogous to what SketchUp does. It shows the actual texture without adding any lighting or shading to it. Now you can see there is some shading and you can you can turn on shading, but it's not going to automatically add it like the other ones do. So there's uh, sun shade or shadows turned on. And then if I go into this visual styles list again, you'll see there's a graphic display options at the top. It's also accessible from the properties palette. Um, so here's the style again that you can set. But I also, in this particular case, turned on smooth lines with anti-aliasing. So this will actually make the lines much smoother. You see how that's more jagged, not really crisp now. And then if I turn smooth lines with anti-aliasing back on, the line will smooth out. So this is great for presentation views that you plan on leaving on a sheet and actually printing, but you don't want to have it on in too many views because it can also slow rev it down. In fact, on the file tab under options, you'll find that on the graphics sub tab and then smooth lines with anti-aliasing, allow control for each view in the graphic display options dialog. So that's the dialog we were just in. It is possible to toggle this and make that setting active in every view, but it's generally not recommended because it the performance hit that you would get. And then back to the visual display settings again. If we go back into this dialog and expand shadows, you can see I have show ambient shadows turned on, which gives it this nice little uh, sense of depth at uh, corners and uh, adjacent surfaces. So if I turn that off and hit OK, you can see all those ambient shadows go away. So I will turn that back on real quick and then we'll have a look at the results of what we're seeing here in the textures view. So as we move around this model, you can see that the actual quality of the texture stays the same. So this is really close to what the actual texture looks like if you're just to open it up. And in some cases, this can be nice enough in a 3D view just to have that on and placed on a sheet. So there's not a lot of really great textures in this particular model, but you can see with this uh, wood sighting here that it gives you a really nice representation of what a texture looks like. And it's actually a lot more robust than the realistic view. 
it's not having to work as hard because of the global illumination settings aren't coming into play, which are kind of part of this realistic setting, the automatic exposure and the lighting system. So that's it. That's the, the new textures mode or visual style in Revit 2024.